and welcome. In this video clip, we will learn how to create box plots using SPSS. To create box charts or box plot or any graph, we go to the graph menu or graph tab and then from the drop down menu either select chart builder or select legacy dialog. We select chart builder and then a window appears here that allows us to plot different types of charts or graphs. If you want to plot a box plot in this window that says choose from, we click on box plot and we see that there are three options available here. This one is the simplest one which is the one dimension box plot. In the second which says simple box plot, we can create box plots for different categories plotted on x-axis and using this option which says clustered box plot, we can use three variables or three dimensions and then um, categorize box plots in different clusters. So let's begin with the first or the simplest one which is the 1D box plot. We click on this option and then select and drag it and drop it in this preview window. Now we want to create a box plot for the speeds of the vehicles or the data of the speeds of the vehicle that were collected in the field. We want to see the spread of this data. So we select this variable which is the speed of vehicles collected in field and drop it on Y axis. When we click on OK, a, plot, a box plot is created. Let's first um, understand what this box plot represent or indicate. This box contains the 50% values of our data set. This point, the lower edge of the box plot is the 20, 25th percentile value. The upper edge of the box is the 75th percentile value and this bar here, this bar is the 50th percentile value or it is the median of the speeds of the vehicle that we collected in the data field. If this median bar, if this bar or if this 50th percentile value is not in the center of the box, rather it's very close to the lower edge or it's close to the upper edge, then it means that our data is skewed. In this case, we see that the median of the vehicles, median speed of the vehicles is around 42 mile per hour. The top, these small, uh, these bars are called whiskers. So the bottom most point is the minimum value and the topmost point or the topmost whisker is the maximum value. These two dots here, these two values here are the, are the outliers. If we want to format our plot, what we do is we double click on this window or in this box and then let's say we want to change the color of this box plot. Then we take the cursor on the box plot and double click here. A window appears and we click on this small box which says fill and we change the color to let's say green. And then we click on apply and we see here that the color of the box plot is changed to green. Now, if we want to show this outlier point here, however, we don't want to show the these numbers, 1124 and 1125 are the case numbers. It says that these two data points, which appears on row 1124 and the row 1125, these two points are the outliers. Now, if we don't want to show these data labels, we go to elements, select data label mode, and then we click on the numbers and as we see here that the numbers over here disappeared or the labels disappeared. So we close this check box and we see that we have a box plot here that shows our outlier point which is greater than the maximum value. The other two types of box plots that we can draw using SPSS are one is the simple box plot so we select this option here from this window and drag it in the preview window. Now as we see here that in this option it allows us to plot box plot for different categories or for different values. We want to plot the box plots of the speeds of the vehicles collected in the field 
with based on the categories of the posted speed limits of the roadways on which we collected the speed data. So posted speed limit are the different categories or the different posted speed limits of the roadways on which we collected the speeds of the vehicles. So we selected this posted speed limit in the variables window and then we dragged it on x-axis or the category axis and we click on OK and we see here that the box plots have been plotted for different posted speed limit categories. These box plots are for the speeds of the vehicles and we see here that now in this case when we uh, plotted the box plots of the speeds of the vehicles for different categories we see here that there are many outliers and also our data is skewed as in this box this again I repeat this is the 25th percentile value the bottom edge of the box represents 25th percentile value of the data the top edge of the box represents the 75th percentile and this bar in the in the box inside the box it represents or it indicates the 50th percentile or median point. We see here that in all in case number one in case of the posted speed limit 35 mile per hour and in case of the posted speed limit 45 40 mile per hour are the vehicles the speeds of the vehicles are skewed since the median or this bar is not in the center of the box. And again we have many outliers. Now if we again if we don't want to indicate or label these outliers we double click on this box and this window appears we go to elements and select data label mode and then we select on each label and we see that the points or the outliers remain there however the case numbers or the labels disappear When we close this window, we have our box plots of the speeds of the vehicles created for different categories of roadways. The third type of box plot that we can create in SPSS is the clustered box plot. In this option or in this plot, we can define, we can create box plots for the speeds of the vehicles for two different categories. One is the uh, category that we will plot on x-axis and other is the category for on which on which we will cluster our data set so let's say we want to plot the box plots of the speeds of the vehicles for different land use types and which are clustered by different posted speed limit now this is we can say that this is a three dimension plot as we are using three variables. One is the land use based on which we are categorizing our box plots. The second is the posted speed limit based on which we are clustering our box plots. And the third is the speeds of the vehicles that we are plotting or uh, that we are observing in the uh, using this chart or box plot. And then we click on OK. And we see here that now the box plots or have been the the box plots for the speeds of the vehicles collected in the field have been plotted on different on two different categories one is the land use and then these plots are clustered by the posted speed limit so again we read it that in each of these cases a data when we categorize the data based on the land use and based on the speed limit we say that our the speeds of the vehicles are skewed in each of these categories